G'day and welcome back to our Rights of Italy campaign in EU4. So we're almost ready to get a hundred um, peace deal with revolutionary Ottomans. We're not going to break the revolution, we're going to deal with the um, issue with not being able to go to war with them. Although I think it doesn't count unless you don't have a truce, does it? Counter-revolution. Isn't there a thing for... Yeah, have no truce. Cool. So we don't have to deal with it anyway. Fifteen years from now we just go back to war with them. And how are we looking? We need like a little bit more war score. We're at minus two. Um, basically, this is what we want to take, but I haven't parceled it out to the different people yet, so that's going to take an annoying amount of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Request for access from Brittany. You know what the other thing is? We could just go steamroll Morocco. Although that's Berber traditions over there, isn't it? So you won't have to deal with yeah Berbatricians here as well. It must be culture group. I don't know. Okay, he's fine. Bavarian peasants in Salzburg. A little body over there. We won the siege of Marn, so that is probably going to do it for us, quite convincingly. Okay, so basically this section and this coastline need to go to Kebab Eater. So let's start transferring. We should be able to force feed him. Uh, kebab eater at the top. At the top of the bottom. Like when they're nice and easy to find like that. Don't know what the hell this order is. It's like the order they were created or something. Alright, and yes, the Spanish stole that other bit. So they're not going to get anything. And then I think we're just doing the entire coastline. It's nice to just paint it on the list rather than having to do this. There and kebab, kebab, and Antakya. Oh, I wish I could fast forward this bit like you can. They quite often spend like half an hour checking out big peace deals like this. Kebab eater and Gaza. And the thing was, we want to take Kudus. I don't think... Or not. Yeah, we can do it. Um, where are we looking? It's up the top. Conquest of Jerusalem. We have to own Kudus. It's not if uh, one of the vassals owns it. So we'll see if we can actually take it. Bordering a vassal. Don't have to be able to core it, because we just sell it to this guy after. And I can't remember how far down we're going. Probably not this far. Let's go check this peace deal again. No, we're stopping there. Alright, so pick all these back up. And it should add up to 100 war score again. I still have to do the islands as well. Yep, that's 100. So, <clears throat> hand this over to the kebab. He's got that. And give him this one. That was this one, this one. Alright. And what's gone? That's Rhodes. This is already his. We didn't have to transfer that. Okay, so that's for them. <clears throat> now, Black Sea dudes get I think everything in this area. Better go check it first. Yeah, they get everything and then they're gonna come down this way as well. Mm, however much we can give to them. So, down the bottom, they are at the very bottom. And they're going to be bumping up against Lithuania, stopping his expansion plans. And the thing I didn't check out, which I probably do now, what was the our extension going to be? 200%. So it should be fine. Because we're splitting it between three people I think plus a little bit for ourselves yeah should be okay actually that was 200% after we'd handed everything off to him well we'll see if they break they break we'll just force feed them anyway really wish they could see 
the overextension that would go to everyone rather than just to yourself, especially when you're doing this sort of thing. Um, not Titans, just give them ass off. We'll keep some for ourselves just to uh, deal with the thing. Although, what were we taking? Um, not that one, that one. Okay. So we aren't going to end up doing that bit next to Lithuania. Um, thought I had plans to do that. So that only took like 40%. But we haven't finished doing the thing. Alright. Um, yeah, I do want to give them all that. Oh. Well, can't have it all. We do want them to take the entire Black Sea for their namesake. <clears throat> keep going, keep going. Alright, nearly done with theirs. So, go Sufi Peace, all of the coastline. It's not even close to adding up properly now. So only if we take it ourselves. Well, that's going to be really annoying. Yeah. We could take it if it was for ourselves, but not for giving it to other people. Unfortunate. So, let's just focus on the coast then. Jesus. Alright, we do want to take that. Uh, not a mistake. Let's see what we can give them. Hmm. Let's head down this way with them. I did want them to uh, surround the Caspian. Uh, yeah, let's at least take this entire edge. If they do this, we won't. No, it's fine. Might have to leave the other coast of the sea. Hopefully, at least get down to the fort. There's one less siege to do next time. Alright, I think that was the fort. So, super piece. And yes, has cut a little bit off. And we want that. I guess we should give up these little bits. That are still going to us. Alright, so. I'm not giving them that. That looks alright. Let's uh, transfer them the rest of this sea. And make sure they take that. Alright. And who are the others on here? The middlemen get nothing. Pole leaders too far away. Yep. Alright. It's going to be horrendous border gore for the um, Ottomans. Uh, let's uh, yeah feed this to them as well. Actually, we'd rather take it ourselves. Yeah, we need to take something ourselves. Um, this, though, is in Central Asia, so that doesn't matter. Alright. I think we need land to add to the HRE. To get the 50 up, although we're going to have that by the end of the game anyway. Alright, let's go back. Give them these, and give them this coast. Hopefully we can feed the whole thing. Not quite. Damn it. 
Uh, we won't take that because it's the only thing left over there. I guess we don't need this. So we can take Galan. Alright, let's take a look. Oh god. All the names are too long. Alright, kebab, 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 kebab. Sea dudes. Black Sea, Black Sea, Black Sea. Not a mistake. Kebab, kebab. Black Sea, kebab. Yep, yep, yep. Just want to see if. Here we go. Kudus is going to us, which is good. Yeah, not a mistake. Mistake, 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 mistake. Sea dudes, mistake. Alright, is there something else we can grab for one war score? Uh, yeah, Mecca's inland, so we can't do that. Al oh, yeah, Alanya. We'll cut them off. Um, not going to hand it over to someone else. We'll take it ourselves. It's uh, not much of an issue for anybody. Okay, so the question then, after saving this, is do we want to take land from Morocco? They've got Berber traditions. And we're not going to be forming the Roman the yeah, reforming the Roman Empire because you have to do Spain. Uh, of course, yeah, we would have everything except for that after we uh, absorb them. But we'd have to take a lot of Spanish land. So, no, we'll be happy with it as is. Yeah, let's just do that. Have a long truce unless we can. Now yeah, we have nothing. Well, no, let's just save our men. It's fine. Peace out like this. Send that demand. Alright, Black Sea dudes. That is not a mistake. And the kebab eater. It's annoying that the Spanish got there first. Uh, no, we're not going to convert. We are going to do that one. Alanya's too far away. Jerusalem's too far away. Hopefully we can core off them once they've cored. And where would... Alania B. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually a fort as well. That's cool. So when they finish doing their thing, hopefully they'll be all right. Now the unrest there. Not war exhaustion. What are we looking for? It's got separatism. There we go. Overextension. Had to wait a sec. All right. So that's under a hundred percent for them. Uh, I was looking at the wrong one. Overextension, 3.6, so there's nice and low. And these guys, ooh, close, 4.92. So at five is 100%. So everybody won't have horrible events. And we are coring everything we're capable of coring, except Mantraga. Mantraga would be there. All right, and we have various exiled armies around the place. All right, let's just find everybody. And we do want to go clean up the HRE. All right. They'll come in. We'll do a few little wars here and there. And yeah, this guy. It's annoying. Revolutionary Ottomans. No longer a valid rival. So, <laughs> not a surprise. And the Black Sea dudes want to get hitched. Visconti, Visconti. We'll just accept that. And how are we looking here? The middlemen, our ally. You know what? We're going to uh, dissolve that alliance. Make him trust us, but yeah, we're dissolving that. We're going to want to go and chew on him for leaving the HRE. We can absorb him in one hit. Annoying. And the trade embargo. Alright. Hopefully, well, I don't think they ever add land to the HRE. And yeah, this thing we wanted to take as well. That was worth way too much. Alright, all marriage offers. Uh, Nuremberg we can't accept. We'll take up a slot. Lithuania just wants to keep asking. We're still going to say no. We'd like to uh, add him to the empire. Rightful ownership. Tariff's too high. 
gain Libra's Desire, gain Tariff Value. Okay. And lose a core on Osnabrück to Munster. Gain Libra's Desire. Pinion goes away. Alright, some of our administrators have fled the country. I've found they were leaking information to the bastards in the Revolutionary Ottomans. And our royal marriage with the pole leader has ended. How old is he? He's 31. Um, actually, that's a good point. The royal marriages don't seem to count towards these. And yeah, we're going to uh, revoke the guarantee on them as well. <laughs> Alliance off from the US. And we've freaking capped admin. What's the chance of that? Uh, we didn't take as much land as we were expecting. So we'll do one of them ahead of time and then we'll use the rest for coring all the German states who we're going to watch the alliances he's allied with the middlemen all right let's go to war we'll call in Lithuania now bar Barwa, Alsace and Austria um, yeah Imperialism, thank you very much. So, we'll take this and this. These guys should be able to do Austria. I have to wait a sec. These guys are going over to Barwa. Let's get them over to Tyrol. And he's walked out. He's got a big army. Alright, Austria's accepted the call. This shouldn't take too long. Kind of all the uh, German vessels will be here as well. And Ravensburg. Allied with Magdeburg. Magdeburg allied with Bremen. Bremen? Bremen. Hamburg. Bremen. Allied with a couple of the others. So if we go... Which way are we looking? Magdeburg. For Magdeburg, we declare we can co-belligerize Bremen and Ravensburg. Imperialism. We'll just do two wars at a time. Alright, they're done. Let's get down to Ravensburg. Because we're going to have level 9 forts all over the place. Alright, but Lithuanians will come in and do them. They've probably got claims or something, at least not going to hand them over. The back of honoured. Over to Ravensburg. And Switzerland have no friends at all. Alright, we'll just declare war on them. Should probably wait until that. And lose 100 ducats. Yep. And we're actually gaining money. Right, forgot to have a look at... Son of a bitch. Um, the money situation from vassals 31 so where's all the rest coming from then just extra tax maybe plus 20 for um, being the HRE dude shows up in taxation I think I don't know why we're getting so much more money and Lithuania could be called in to the other one we say no So it's a little weird. You can call people into more than one war. They have to already be in the wars for you to do it. And how much does Jakin love us? Uh, 80. Alright, we have one Linz. So Austria can cease to exist. Eventually. Have to find his army. Uh, these guys... For the small stack. They'll head over that way. Actually, come here. You're going to do Switzerland. And we do need another guy. Oh, we already had another guy. Because one of the armies died. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. Declare the war. Imperialism. Confirm. Go and finish him off. Oh, this is the three siege guy. Really need to put him in a different army. 
Alright, France, <laughs> marching random people past. And that integration, I don't think we'll finish that before the end of the game. Never going to have the Diplo. So, you know what, we need to focus Diplo. And we are doing threes, yeah. Alright, we've won Ravensburg. He was not the war leader. I believe. No, negotiating for themselves. Have to uh, find his army though. And Ulm. Allied with the Ottomans. Really? Okay. Leave him alone. Uh, let's get up this way. They're all faithful. Magdeburg's the war leader. Guess we just get started there. And we're already at war with Brabant. France should probably come and help over here. Okay. This army's standing around. We've won the Siege of Barois. Okay, and we'll finally uh, link our lands together. So, Barois. Why are they all saying no? Just that whole having to kill their army before you can do anything thing. Uh, Lorraine being attacked by the bar. You have no friends. Thank you for trying to start this off. He doesn't even have the army to do that anyway. So yeah, we'll walk in there with Grimaldi. Cossack aggression. Gain five prestige. It was Siberian that time. Alright, so Barwa will peace out now and get started on them. Okay, well, I'm going to take a short break here. So, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.